This famous Buccaneers tight end is very excited for the NFL's opening day in two days. Thursday night, the Super Bowl champs, that never gets old saying that, will take on the Dallas Cowboys. And Rob Gronkowski is ready. And so is our friend Barry L. Wonger from Motor Works Brewing. You brought some very special beer. Yeah, <laughs> it's fall and it's time for football and beers and good times. Like, it we're is. excited. Now, you guys are bringing back Rungzilla, you uh, debuted this beer last year. I understood, understand you started working on it right when Rob signed. Tell me about Gronkzilla and how it's really taken on a life of its own. Yeah, so we really just wanted to do something uh, fun. And then, of course, you know, last year just became extremely fun yes, with uh, <laughs> winning the championship and everything else. But uh, Super Bowl wins, got to love it. Uh, but yeah, we were we took our award-winning um, base uh, red ale, and we wanted to put a different twist on it. Um, so this beer, the base of it, has won like six or seven different uh, national medals. Um, wow. For this uh, version of it, though, we wanted to throw a ton of dry hops on it. Um, so we use some Zeus um, on the actual like uh, brew side of it, which gives it like a citrus and herbal character. And then we add a ton of Azaka hops, Thank which you. gives it a uh, another dose of uh, citrus characteristics and then a ton of like piney aspect to it. It's just a big beer. Uh, this is great for when you're grilling out, it goes great with burgers, uh, steaks or some ribs. I had that last night, wonderful, wonderful. And on Thursday, I can't wait for kickoff. Uh, definitely gonna enjoy some of these, um, as well as some of our other fall beers. It's gonna be a great lineup. Well, I know it was very exciting for you last year uh, to hear that Gronkzilla made Monday Night Football. Yeah, that was uh, that was really fun. <laughs> that was what, so what happened? How did they use uh, this? Doing that broadcast. So they did a whole like uh, screen splash of it, yeah. and uh, you know, then Rob uh, came on and said Gronkzilla on the thing. It was just How really, cool. really cool. I had a bunch of friends uh, sending me videos of it at the time. Well, but we loved it. Can we also show your shirt? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's one here, and then look at this. Go, go, <laughs> Gronkzilla. Super, super cool. Yeah. So where can we pick up? So this, this is on draft um, and a ton of places all throughout the Bay Area. It's also available at Total Wines and ABC oh, nice. and uh, you know some of the other uh, independent retailers as well. So um, you'll see this uh, out and about and it's our football seasonal. So it runs from cool. now until February. Okay, awesome. Good to know. Pick some up and then store some. So when, when it's not out, you can still drink it. Yeah. You also brought some other beers. Uh, we are entering Oktoberfest yes, season. Uh, absolutely. You have that. Tell us about your other beers. Thank yeah, you. so this is our Oktoberfest. We take a very traditional um, approach on this. It's a German influenced lager, um, if you will, but you just get a great, great profile off of it. Awesome uh, malt profile. Then we use German hops uh, on it. Wonderful, easy drinking. So we serve this by the stage, which is this, uh, you know, little 12 ounce glass, or by the yeah. liter. So you can get 32 ounces of freedom, and uh, it's amazing. <laughs> you also have a pumpkin ale. Yes, yes, yes. So it is the season, and this goes great with dessert. This is our Haya Gordy pumpkin uh, ale. Um, so we use a bunch of really cool ingredients off of this, of course, some allspice and some cinnamon. Mm. Uh, but uniquely, we use this ginger-like root called galanga, and it gives it this just incredible like uh, characteristic to it. Great depth of uh, you know profile, uh, yeah. depth of flavor to it, and it's just got like this almost ginger-like like spritz to it. But it's from the galanga. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Can we also get this at the places you mentioned? Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, the, um, this is available um, all throughout as well. We actually sold out our um, um, planned amount for this year. I'm trying to get another get two batches in, um, but it's selling great and it's just kicking off of uh, pumpkin season, if you will. So um, you'll see that out and about for a, a little bit longer also. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, grab some of our award-winning beers and Cheers. <laughs> this has been a good year for you all, even though it's been a tough year for, for so many local businesses. You were talking about how Gronkzilla really helped you guys through through a tough year. And you actually opened a, a new location in Orlando, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, we opened a spot in downtown Orlando uh, back in September last year, so we're coming up on our first anniversary. Um, and, you know, that's been... Uh, difficult to say the least yeah. but uh it's doing great you know it's starting to uh get busier people are starting to get back out i think people are starting to feel a little bit safer as uh you know vaccinations and all that are right. uh getting further out there and then you know we just keep doing things to make uh you know stay in front of the uh, the news yesterday we actually um found out that we were the number three brewery in the nation at the u.s open we won five really? medals out there and uh, very very proud of that some Congrats. other barriers uh, uh bay area breweries won some medals also so just a great showing for florida as a whole well we are so incredibly proud of you guys can we buy this merch that yeah. has grunkzilla on it yeah 
We have shirts and hats oh, and swag, uh, you know, all at the, uh, the brewery, and you can order on our um, website as well. And remind us where the brewery is located. We're in downtown Bradenton, so 1014 9th Street West in Bradenton, and then downtown Orlando. Perfect. Do you have anything else going on there at the brewery coming up? Uh, we always have events going on. So, of course, we do our monthly Yappy Hour, which yeah. uh, we got a lot of uh, publicity last year for our adoptable logger, which helps fund uh, dogs' homes. So right. we put adoptable dogs on the cans. We still have that ongoing. Uh, we still do our project with the Dali Museum. So we have a beer that uh, has actually won some awards also, and it's available exclusively at the Dali Museum and in our tap room. Um, but we do a ton of stuff. We got Burn Steakhouse. We had a couple of barrel picks coming out with those guys again soon. Like, cool. we love being involved. We love this community. We love the Bay. And uh, go Bucks. Go <laughs> Bucks for sure. I will be watching Thursday. I know you will too. Oh, yeah. Watch with some Gronkzilla. How about that? Hey, let me give you some more information uh, about the brewery where you can go to get the swag, the beer, everything that we discussed today. Just go to their website.